In this recording, I'm going to show you how to import an animated GIF, edit multiple frames at one time, and a Pro AI motion preset to the last frame. I began by getting my animated GIF from GIFanimations.com, which are completely free and royalty free. I'm going to begin with an ActionScript 3 file, and I'm going to use my file menu to import to the stage the GIF that I downloaded angrybarbarian.gif. Now I, I want to show you how an animated GIF works. It's different than a flash animation. Flash animations are vector. GIF animations are, have a different GIF in each frame and rapidly play through them. If I test this, you'll see that it's actually too fast in the 24 frames per second that flash works in. If I change the frames per second to 15 and test it again, that looks more appropriate for the speed. Now I want to make him larger and centered. If I were to try and just move him, he would only move in the one frame, which would look really silly. I used Command Z to undo to get back to where I was. I want to edit all of my frames at the same time. To do that, I choose Edit Multiple Frames and I drag the handles and then you'll see that I have all of the frames together. To select the entire barbarian, I'll draw a box around him using the black selection tool, move him to the center, see I've got all the frames, and now I can use my free transform tool to make all of the frames larger at the same time. When I'm done editing him, I will turn off edit multiple frames I'm going to add a new layer because in this last layer I want to apply a motion preset. I'm going to copy the last frame and paste it in the layer directly above it. I do this because I want to make a change on just this last frame and I want them to dissolve into smoke. Now if I hide it, either one, you'll see that each layer is identical. And that's the way I want it, because I'm going to apply a motion preset only to the frame that I copied to the top layer. A motion preset can be found by going into Window, Motion Presets. There are many default presets, Bounce In, Bounce Out, Bounce Smoosh, and you can see what it's going to do by clicking on them and looking at the top. It gives you an idea of what's going to happen. In this particular one, I want to use smoke to dissolve my barbarian into smoke. So I'm going to select smoke and I'm going to hit apply. It tells me the selected item cannot be tweened. You must convert this to a symbol in order to tween. Do you want to convert and create a tween? I'm going to hit OK. I'm going to close this and I'm going to test. Okay, that's pretty much the effect that I was looking for. I can also use my selection tool, the black arrow tool, and I can adjust where that tween effect is taking shape. So if I want it to go up and across, I can do that as well. And that's how you edit multiple frames and apply a motion preset.